Now we come to the last presentation by Dr. Hirika Gusalia on ASPI, anterior segment photography with intraocular lens. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you for the opportunity, ma'am. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to play the video. Hello fellow residents, so today I'll be talking about my journey in the first year of residency. It was a year or more ago I entered my dream hospital as a first year resident after passing through all those hurdles of entrance exams and counselling. First week into the residency, I was clueless so many new things. How do I use the slit lamp? What do I have to see? What findings are my seniors talking about? Being a curious child, I kept irritating my mentor and he tried the level best to teach me. Few months went by. I started using the slit lamp. But every time I saw an interesting finding in the patient, I had to rush him to the slit lamp photography room, which was on another floor of the hospital. It was inconvenient for the patient and time consuming as well. I then started using the smartphone adapter, which could be attached to the slit lamp. It was a good tool but needed a lot of adjustments and it was tiring to keep removing it and putting it again and again. And then CAMS, Vision Center, Peripheral Posting started where all I had was a dot sometimes. I wasn't sure of my findings a lot of times. Also, emergency nights would be frustrating. All I could do was explain my seniors about my findings on call so that they could help me with the further management of the patient. We used ASPI anterior segment photography with intraocular lens as an innovative learning and teaching tool for all residents, irrespective of the availability of expensive slit lamp machines. So let me tell you how I made my ASPI. First, take a chart paper and a scale and a pen to draw a rectangle measuring 10 cm 1.5 cm. You cut it out with a scalpel and then Take a scalpel to just mark the center part of the rectangle and fold it across. Then, after folding the chart paper, you use a double sided tape, stick it on one side of the chart paper, you stick it properly and then we take a puncher to punch a hole in between the rectangle. Make a small opening where we can attach the intraocular lens. You then remove the other side of the double sided tape. You take the 15 diopters intraocular lens and attach it on the circular opening. And then you stick the other side of the chart paper and sandwich the intraocular lens on both the sides. I then take my smartphone and attach the ASP onto the smartphone camera with a microphone pin. And it's ready. There you go. Switch on the flash for better pictures. on a patient in an outreach camp. So now I would like to share you my ASPI picture collection. I hope you don't get jealous. These are few of the lit pathologies. Conjunctival findings. Cornea related pathologies. related and nuclear related problems. Uvia based pathologies. These are few of my cataract related findings. These are intraocular related findings and complications. Many of my batchmates started using them after my great experience we now have a WhatsApp group called Ask Me Club, wherein we discuss and share interesting clinical findings of pictures on the group. I would suggest Ask Me for every resident, 
It's a simple, low-cost, innovative tool which can be useful for every aspect from first to final year. And it requires no specialized training. It can be used for case discussions, treatment, publications, photo documentation in a rural or emergency setup devoid of symptoms. Thank you. So thank you, Harika. You were the youngest, I think, and the simplest of the presentations. Thank you so much. Yes, In your residency, you know, you have a keen observation power. Now, I would request all the judges to please uh, power.